Hi, this is Alexander speaking. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, so today we're going to talk about how to um, configure the copyright year that you normally put at the bottom of your website in the footer. And in particular we're going to show how to make it change automatically as you switch from one year to the next. So if it's 2016, then at the end of December as we change into January 2017, then the value of the year will get changed automatically to 2017. And we're going to do it without using a plugin. So we're using WordPress here and you can use a plugin for the copyright year to change automatically. But um, if you're using too many plugins, then it can slow down the performance of your website. And if it becomes too slow, then it will deter your visitors from coming back again. So if we can get away without using a plugin for the copyright year, then so much the better. So we're going to use a piece of code um, here in JavaScript um, that will allow us to generate the copyright year automatically. So there's also the PHP code as an option as well to the JavaScript. Uh, but we're going to be using the JavaScript and the reason for that is when you're using JavaScript, if that gets run after the page has been loaded inside your browser and uh, the PHP code gets generated, gets run from the server side, okay, which means there's additional processing being done as your page has been loaded. So this here is the code, okay, and what it's doing is it's saying the new date, so that's the new date object getting the current today's date. So in this case it's April um, the 19th 2016 and then there's a method inside that function called uh, get full year. So that's getting the year of today's date which will be 2016 and it's getting the, the four digit value. Okay so, so that's what we need to use this piece of code. So we just copy that so I'm in WordPress right here, okay? And if I go down to Customize, and then that will navigate me to my footer. And then, Footer Copyright, okay? So I remove that text, and then put in my code. Now you notice here it's doing this, it's showing the actual code rather than the actual value. And that's because we're using a free version of this uh, theme, WordPress theme. The paid version of this will allow you, it'll actually run the JavaScript code and bring back and return the actual value. So if you're in that situation, then all we need to do is to actually go into the footer PHP and put our code in there. So that's what we'll do in this case. So we'll just get rid of that. Just save and publish that. So to navigate to the footer.php, so click on the dashboard and then go to appearance and then go down to editor. Okay, and then click on editor. And now you want to look for the footer.php and here it says theme footer. So it'll say something equivalent for the theme that you're using. Look for the footer.php, click on that, and we come to here. And uh, so what you want to do is, I would recommend, every theme will be slightly different with the code, but I would recommend you look for the, the footer tag, which is this, okay, the footer tag, and then put it inside that. Also worth pointing out is to make sure you, you make a backup of the footer.php before you um, make any changes because if you make some coding mistakes and then the footer fails to load then you could um, mess up your whole website okay so um, make sure you back up the, all every single piece of code in here um, and caught and just save it into notepad so if you make a mistake something goes horribly wrong then you just paste the original code back into here again 
So we're going to save, so that's our change. We're going to save that. Just update file. Okay. And then we're going to go back to here. Our website. And there you go. And there's the value of the year. Now, if you wanted to make it something more meaningful, you could do this. And you could use this, which is the copyright logo, HTML code for the copyright logo. Okay. So this here is just inside the right uh, command is we're just passing through a text um, parameter and uh, so it's saying the copyright and then the copyright logo and then we're concatenating onto that string the, the current today's date year value and then we're caten concatenating this as well okay so you could do something like that so we update that again Okay, we go back to a website and do a refresh. And there you go. Okay, and it's showing you the copyright logo as well. So that's it really for uh, JavaScript. If you need for any reason to use the actual um, PHP code, then you can just do something like this. You would do something like this and put in the PHP code in replace of the JavaScript function. So the PHP code is saying get today's date and get the year value from that date. And just to prove that it's actually working, test okay, for the PHP code. reload there you go so it's not caching anything so we're actually using the PHP code okay and that's it really if you have any questions a eh, feel free to comment below this video and uh, like and share this video and subscribe to to my YouTube channel um, and you make it a great day and uh, bye for now